So what is TCA? TCA is an acid treatment for atrophic acne scarring or atrophic scarring from other causes. You are using an acid, tichloroacetic acid, that is put on the scars, applied onto scars using an applicator to cause a chemical reaction, an inflammatory process, which triggers the skin to heal. And in that healing process, you're creating collagen. And the purpose of that is to fill in the atrophic scar. So essentially you're filling in a hole by triggering the body's reaction to the chemical insult that you've created on the skin. Any atrophic acne scar can be treated. However, ice pick scars and box scars tend to respond better than rounded scars. And those are essentially the three types of acne scars. You have ice pick scars, you have rounded scars, and you have box scars. But the ice pick scars will respond best to it simply because of the shape of the scar itself. And um, although in saying that, we do treat all types with it, with the TCA cross. Where TCA cross might not be appropriate in atrophic acne scars is where there is a significant amount of adhesions under the skin. In that case, we would need to release those adhesions with subcision to divide those adhesions to lift the scar. So furthermore, certain types of scars that are very deep might respond better to an excision. In that case, where you're cutting out the scar and creating a smaller scar uh, by restitching the area. Generally, we treat between one to three sessions. However, it does depend on the response of the scar, depends on the individual. Some individuals heal better and heal quicker. Minimum time between treatments is about three weeks. And that's important because you need to allow the time for the skin to heal and time for collagen to build. And what you're doing there is overlapping treatment. You can span out that treatment over the course of many, many weeks to allow more collagen to fall. But when you do reduce that time frame, you're also overlapping the treatment and you're creating a sort of collagen cascade in that time. So TCA cross will be at the beginning of the journey. Now in some scars, you will need some incision to release the scars. And the purpose of TCA cross is to lift the scar often the deeper scars, the ice pick scars or the box scars, as you're creating the collagen in them by causing that inflammatory reaction and that repair, the scar will become more rounded, closer to the surface, ready for resurfacing with laser. You can then go in again and do a micro subcision where you subsize a bit more to lift the scar that is now a rounded scar, having converted from a deeper ice pick scar or box scar to more rounded, flatter scar, and then release that scar even more and prepare for future treatments. TCA cross initially will cause a reaction in the skin that will cause a whitening of the skin and a lifting of the top layer of the skin. And that will appear like the skin is peeling. In the ensuing days afterwards, the area will scab. And the scab is protecting the scar. And underneath that scab is where you get the collagen forming cells, the fibroblasts, that will essentially be the building blocks of the new scar that you have created. As TCA cross can cause hyperpigmentation of the areas treated, it is best to use a pigment inhibiting cream to prevent the skin or to reduce the risk of the skin pigmenting. Importantly, the skin will be inflamed. The areas treated will be scabbed. So it's very important to protect those scabs. Protect the scabs by not um, causing any trauma on the area not rubbing the area aggressively and preventing any exposure from the sun or from any other chemical peels for at least three to four weeks. When the scabs have fallen off, which usually occurs after three to five days, one can resume normal activities and normal skincare routine as well. Collagen formed inside scars is permanent but you do continue to lose collagen overall in your skin. However, if you build up a scar with collagen, those results are permanent. If a scar, usually a standalone scar, is very deep or too large to respond to TCA cross or to microneedling or to laser, it would be more appropriate to cut out the scar 
and refashion the scar. And by that I mean you would essentially redo the scar and create a smaller scar, a, a linear scar or a line straight scar from that deep scar. That is more appropriate because the TCA cross or the laser will not build sufficient collagen in the scar to erase the scar. We would cut out a scar if the scar is too deep or too large, usually standalone scars, single scars, that would not be responsive to TCA cross or to laser or to radio frequency simply because no amount of collagen that is generated in there will fill the scar. The best method for doing that are twofold. You can use a punch biopsy needle, which essentially cuts out the scar using a sort of boring method. And then that scar is stitched up and you create a smaller scar that is on the skin surface as opposed to into the skin. You can also use a blade if the scar is very, very large to cut around the scar and then stitch it up to create the scar or the wound on the surface. And whilst there is still a scar there, it's an improvement from the larger atrophic scar.